All right guys, today we're gonna go over upgrading and maintaining your V21S motor. Um, so first things first, uh, take the motor obviously out of the package. It comes with the resistance sheet, Just set that right here. And basically, get the motor right away, you wanna add some upgrades. Um, we have these titanium screws. We have a full set that has the timing screws and then the, also the can screws. And then this is the titanium timing ring as well. Um, and then for the bearings, we use um, our double ceramic uh, dope green glue. Um, this works great for all the bearings. Um, so that's what we're going to use today in uh, the video. So let's start taking this thing apart. Well, you just need to take apart uh, these three long screws here. Just like that. And then we we'll pull off this. Sometimes the shims will come up with it, so just push that down. Put this over here. And then sometimes there will be some 0.1 or 0.2 shims. This really depends on each motor, so make sure um, you don't lose those. And I'll set this over there. And then to get the rotor out, I'll just push it through and grab on the back side. Comes right out. And then also on the back side of this, there are some shims. Looks like 0.1 shim is in there. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get these out. There we go. So now we have everything out. Um, so first we'll put on the timing ring here. So I'm gonna need a two mil. Two mil screw, take these out. Should be pretty tight in the factory. And then everything will come apart. So you have the back plate here, and then timing ring as well. And then the sensor board will come off also. So now you have access to this bearing, so even with a brand new motor, I have a race coming up in July here at the Hobbyplex, so this is a motor I'm going to be using, so I'm going to put just a little bit, just a drop of the green lube in there, and then we are going to install this timing ring, the titanium one. It's a bit thinner, a um, bit less chance of stripping, and it seems to have a bit more punch um, from our guys testing, so that's what we're going to install in this. And then we're going to use our titanium screws, which is a 1.5. Make sure you have the back plate on. We'll use this. 1.5. Just like so. Put all three in, but don't tighten them all the way. Start. That way you can line them up. Now that these are on, make sure our shims from the sensor border over there. And then we're gonna set the timing to 40, which is what we set it out of the box and honestly what I use basically all the time. Sometimes I'll just go a hair lower, but I honestly haven't ran my motor any higher than this. Set it right at 40. And tighten these up. Make sure not to over tighten because you'll strip out the aluminum or the titanium one. Just need to be snug. And then for the shimming uh, for this, uh, for the rotor, you want to make it just about as close as you can. You want to have about 0.1 or 0.2 of a mil. So this is a little close. So I'm going to add one of these 0.1 shims at the bottom. And this looks good, just about a card width. Now we will put the top, the bigger shim, over it. And then you put the rotor through, put your thumb right here. And this will go to the back of your thumb and slowly push it through. If 
you don't do that, it'll like snap on there and you lose all kinds of shims, so it's not what we want. Now, you will just put this here, right over top. Sometimes shimming isn't perfect, so this time we're going to actually leave out one of the shims that came in it. We're going to put the titanium screws on. Just make sure that the holes lined up from here to there. It's a pretty easy reference that way. are tight, go around to all three until they are fully tight. Then your motor is good to go. I'll also put a bit of a drop of this green oil on the top bearing. And this motor is ready to go, ready to hit the track.